Hey folks, this is Ryan over here at the Esperanza Bike Shop and today I'm going to show you how to set up the rear derailleur on your bike. Feel free to click the link in the description to download and print the instruction sheet so you can follow along at home. You won't need much in the way of tools, just a number two Phillips head screwdriver. And depending on what type of fastener your derailleur uses to attach the cable, either a 9mm box wrench or a 5mm Allen wrench. A bike repair stand helps, but you can also turn the bike upside down. Just make sure you're careful about the hardware on your handlebars. This video is a basic introduction to this repair, but not all derailers are built the same. So if you're unable to follow or you aren't sure your bike is going to be safe to ride after you've gone through it, I encourage you to take your bike over to your local bike shop for a safety check. And of course, always wear your helmet. Okay, the first thing we want to do is make sure that the chain is in the smallest gears. The smallest chain ring on the front, which would be your easiest gear, and the smallest cog on the back, which is going to be your hardest gear. You want to inspect your derailleur and your derailleur hanger for any obvious damage. You also want to ensure that your derailleur hanger is aligned with the cogs on your rear cassette or freewheel. So if you look at this line here, that should be parallel to these lines here. You can also visualize it by pulling this down, and that gives you another benchmark to check the alignment of that hanger. The last things you need to check before we start making adjustments are that your cable is disconnected and that your barrel adjuster is tightened all the way down as tight as it'll go. If you prefer, you can tighten it all the way down and then back that out about one full turn. It gives you some movement in the other direction, but it's not always necessary. The next step we need to adjust your high limit screw and set that in the right place. So these are your limit screws here. These screws determine how far in each direction your derailleur can go. Your high limit screw is going to keep your derailleur from coming so far out that your chain is going to fall off the outer cog of your gear cluster and get caught in between that cog and your frame, which would not be fun if you're riding. So we're going to set this so that it can only go so far. If you watch as I tighten this, your derailleur cage is going to move towards your wheel and as I loosen it, it'll move away from the wheel very slowly and very subtly. The goal is to set this upper pulley in line with the outer cog of your gear cluster. So right about there. You have two limit screws, a high and a low. If you look very closely, there's usually going to be an H and an L next to those so you can determine which one is your high and your low limit screw. Now that we have your high limit screw, we can go ahead and attach your cable. So you want to make sure your shifter is set to the highest gear because this is your highest gear on your rear gear cluster. You're going to pull your cable tight, just hand tight. You don't need any tools or needle nose pliers or anything like that. And then we're going to put that underneath the washer and go ahead and tighten that down. That's either going to be a 9mm hex wrench or a 5mm Allen wrench that you're going to need to tighten that down. Now that your cable's attached, we're going to test. So you're going to start by turning your cranks so your wheel starts to spin and you're going to click your shifter or move your shifter just one position. Now nothing happened, which is a problem, so we need to tighten your cable up. Right now the cable's a little too loose, so I wasn't able to pull that up into the next gear. So we're going to take your barrel adjuster, which is this part right here, and we're going to start to unscrew that. So we're going to turn that counterclockwise, and as that unscrews, that's going to be pulling the cable tighter. So we're going to turn that, at first, about one full turn. And then you're going to test again. We're still not quite there, but we're getting there. So now I'm going to do about another half a turn. And we're going to keep repeating that until we get a successful shift. Okay, now we're there, but it's not quite settling in. You can hear that little clicking. So I'm gonna turn that one more click and keep unscrewing that barrel adjuster until that sound goes away. Okay, so we're able to get in and out of that first shift. And we're gonna move to our next cog and we're gonna keep shifting through the entire cluster until we get into the lowest gear. We're then going to want to shift back into the highest gear, one click at a time, to make sure that that's being nice and responsive. Okay, we're getting some hesitation there, 
So again, I'm going to back that barrel adjuster out about one more quarter turn or so. Because we want that to shift smoothly up and down every single time we try it. You can even go down two, up one, down two, up one. Just shift through and make sure everything's working nice and smoothly. Okay, now that we've got your derailleur shifting consistently through the gears, both higher and lower gears, we need to make sure that this chain doesn't drop to the inside of your gear cluster getting caught in between your gears and your wheel. Uh, that can be catastrophic while you're riding. If your derailleur cage goes into your spokes, that can tear the whole derailleur off the bike, that can break your derailleur hanger, it can ruin your wheel, uh, and it can cause a pretty gnarly crash. So we want to avoid that if at all possible. So that's where your low limit screw comes into play. So again, your high limit screw was the one with the H, so this time we're going to look at the one with the L. And we just want to tighten that screw right up until you feel it butt up against something, because that's going to set that cog exactly where it's standing. Now if you've noticed that this jockey wheel is a little bit outside, or I guess inside of this large cog, you want to tighten that until it lines up nicely with that low gear, and that should put you in a good position. You can test that by spinning your wheel and just pushing on your derailleur to make sure you can't manually push that past that cog. That's all there is to it. From here, I'll throw on my helmet, take a short, slow speed test ride just to make sure everything feels proper. And again, please take your bike over to your local bike shop if you even suspect something might not be safe. Thanks for wrenching, and stay tuned to Albuquerque's Parks and Recs channel for more videos. Ride safe!